Seriously, how did this movie not get an Oscar nod for Best Adapted Screenplay? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the Top 10 Mean Girls Movie Quotes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable lines from this 2004 comedy that people continue to quote even to this day. One time, she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Number 10. I have ESPN. I'm kind of psychic. I have a bit sense. On the surface, Karen Smith looks like a stereotypical dumb blonde. And when you really get to know her, yeah, she kind of still is. I can put my whole fist in my mouth. Want to see? No. That's okay. However, as she reveals to Katie what she lacks in brains, she makes up for with a special ability. Her breasts can tell when it's going to rain. Well, technically, her breasts know when it's raining. It's like I have ESPN or something. My breasts can always tell when it's going to rain. Karen describes her fifth sense as ESPN. Of course, we're pretty sure she meant ESP and not the sports channel. Regardless, Karen uses her incredible gift to become a weather girl, delivering another unforgettably quotable line in the process. It's 68 degrees, and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. Karen might not be the brightest bulb, but with lines like these, she's proof of Tina Fey's ability as a screenwriter. God, Karen, you are so stupid. <laughs> Number 9. You can't sit with us. Gina would be nothing without her high-status man candy. Technically good physique. An ignorant band of loyal followers. After taking away both Regina's boyfriend and figure, Katie sets out to destroy her army of skanks. She gets the results she was looking for when Gretchen and Karen finally stand up to Regina. She's wearing sweatpants on a Monday, which is a direct violation of the plastics dress code. Gina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Chowing down on carbs and butter, Regina dismisses the rule, despite the fact that Karen had previously been shunned on similar grounds. Pushed over the edge, Gretchen lashes out at the Queen Bee, repeating Karen's declaration in an emphatic shriek. You can't sit with us! While Regina had it coming, you can't help but feel a little sorry for her in this moment. After all, it's not like she had any other outfit choices. That's where you're going, fat ass! Number 8. Oh, you whore! She's not pretty. I mean, that sounds bad, but whatever. Regina is constantly talking smack behind people's backs. Then again, she's not afraid to diss them directly either. As part of the aforementioned plot to turn Regina's army of skanks against her, Katie orchestrates a phone call. Unaware that Gretchen is on the other line, Regina casually burns two of her best friends. Don't invite Gretchen, she's driving me nuts. Gretchen passes the word on to Karen, who understandably isn't pleased to learn that Regina called her a slut. She said that? To get out of her plans with Regina, Karen fakes a cough. Much to Karen's surprise, Regina responds with this shocking, hilarious, and rather insulting one-liner. Uh, uh, I'm sick. Boo, you whore. The only thing more priceless in the quote is Karen's stunned face and Regina's abrupt hang-up. Classic. Number 7. Why are you white? I'm new. I just moved here from Africa. What? When Katie meets the Plastics for the first time, they're amazed to learn that she has spent the majority of her life in Africa. Seemingly even more shocking, however, is the fact that Katie has never been to public school. Shut up. Shut up! I didn't say anything. With the conversation having moved on, Karen reveals that she's still processing the whole Africa reveal. With an exceedingly perplexed expression on her face, she bluntly asks Katie how she can have white skin if she's from Africa. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Rather than explaining the obvious to her oblivious friend, Gretchen simply tells Karen that she can't just ask people why they're white. Through this hilarious exchange, Karen demonstrates that she's capable of being simultaneously ignorant in multiple ways. Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. Number 6. It's full of secrets. That little one? That's Gretchen Wieners. After making friends with Janice and Damien, Katie learns all about the plastics and what they each bring to the team. In Gretchen Wiener's case, she's the one who knows everybody's business. According to Damien, Gretchen's hair is so big because it's full of secrets. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. This classic quote is not only hilarious and perfectly delivered by actor Daniel Franzese, 
but also successfully epitomizes Gretchen's character. She's a gossip girl who has trouble keeping her mouth shut. Gretchen even has dirt on Regina, like the fact that she's constantly cheating on her boyfriend Aaron. Every Thursday he thinks she's doing SAT prep, but really, she's hooking up with Shane Oman in the projection room above the auditorium. And Although Gretchen considers herself such a good friend, her hair full of secrets ultimately contributes to the Queen Bee's downfall. Jackpot. Gretchen's secret had put the plan back in motion. Number 5. Get in, loser! This girl is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever met. Regina George has called her friends and classmates some pretty nasty names. Come to think of it, loser is probably one of the gentler ones in her vocabulary. In that sense, maybe Katie should take it as a compliment when Regina pulls up in her convertible and shouts, Get in, loser, we're going shopping. In addition to spawning countless memes, this quote is Regina in a nutshell. Insulting others is simply second nature to her and has little to do with her actual mood. As rude and insensitive as Regina is, everybody in school still idolizes her. And so, Katie gets in the car with no questions asked. Regina's like the Barbie doll I never had. I'd never seen anybody so glamorous. Number 4. She doesn't even go here. All junior girls report to the gymnasium immediately! Sometimes a person just needs to express themselves, even if it's to a room full of strangers. When the plastics burn book sparks a wild riot, the junior girls are forced to report to the gymnasium. To help clear the air, Miss Norberry instructs her students to let their emotions out. One particular girl seizes this opportunity to get a few things off her chest. Reminiscing of her middle school days, this mystery girl practically breaks down in tears. I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat be happy. While her speech is nothing short of hysterical, Damien immortalizes this scene by pointing out that she doesn't even go here. She doesn't even go here! It's icing on the cake, filled with rainbows and smiles. Do you even go to this school? No, I just have a lot of feelings. Number 3. On Wednesdays We Wear Pink Do you have anything pink? The Plastics have a strict fashion code that every member must abide by. When the Mean Girls invite Katie to eat lunch with them for the week, Karen shares one of their most important rules. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Katie apparently doesn't actually own anything pink, but thankfully, Damien has her covered. Interestingly enough, Mean Girls celebrated its 10th anniversary on April 30th, 2014, which just so happened to be a Wednesday. So as you can imagine, plenty of fans wore pink that day to show their undying love for the film. It's a testament to both the enduring popularity and cultural impact of Mean Girls, and proof that this particular line really stands out. I want my back! Number 2. You go, Glen Coco! Fall for you, Glen Coco! You go, Glen Coco! In this memorable scene, Damien, dressed as Santa Claus, congratulates Glen Coco on receiving four candy cane grams. Candy cane grams! Okay, hurry up. Although this might seem like a throwaway line, You Go Glen Coco has taken on a life of its own. The phrase has become so popular that there are multiple pages on Urban Dictionary dedicated to Glen Coco. What makes this especially hilarious is that Glen Coco's barely in the movie. David Riel, the actor who portrayed the character, wasn't even credited for his role according to IMDb. It's hard to say why exactly this quote stuck with fans. Whether it was as a result of Damien's delivery or Tina Fey's knack for writing one-liners, it's clear that somebody deserves a candy cane. And none for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I use super jumbo tampons, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Number one, so fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. Poor Gretchen. All she wanted was to popularize the term fetch, which basically means awesome or cool. Although Gretchen uses this word multiple times, Regina eventually makes it clear that fetch is not going to happen. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Unfortunately for her, this harsh put-down proves the final straw for Gretchen. 
motivating her to turn on Regina like Brutus did on Caesar. And when did it become okay for one person to be the boss of everybody, huh? Because that's not what Rome is about! We should totally just stab Caesar! To Regina's credit, she was kinda right. Fetch never successfully became common slang among the youth. However, it did become arguably the most iconic line from this incredibly quotable film. So, in a roundabout way, Gretchen did succeed in popularizing the term, just not how she imagined. Okay, that was so fetch. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.